Hello everyone let's we can discuss today the equal question number 319 bulb switcher basically what they given question there will be n bulbs okay initially they are in off condition okay in first step what we need to do we need to turn the bulb all the bulbs okay in the second round what we need to do we need to turn off the second bulb in the third round what we need to do we need to toggle every the third bulb for example if it is in off condition means we need to turn on if it is on means we need to turn off okay and they told us for eighth round you you should toggle every eighth bulb for the nth round you need to uh, toggle the last bulb okay? this is the example okay so basically there are three bulbs there are in turn off means they are in off condition okay first step we need to turn on all the bulbs in second step we need to turn off the second bulb and in third step we need to turn off the third bulb and output is returning one because in the third case there is a only one bulb which is on so we are returning as our answer one let's proper we can understand in the whiteboard let's we can take n equals to 4 starting all are in off condition okay here zero represents off and one represents on okay in first round what i am doing i will be turning all my lights in second round what i am doing i will be turning off the second bulb this is second bulb and this is second bulb 1 0 1 0 in third step what i am doing i will be turning off my third bulb 1 0 0 0 and output is returning 1 because in the third step only one bulb is on so i will be returning as 1 as answer okay this is the approach first let's we can understand the code uh, with time complexity more after that we can reduce the time complexity and we can work on the better optimal solution first of what i will be doing i will be taking on vector which is a bool type okay i will be taking on bulb function i will pass the parameters with false up to size n plus 1 after that i will be taking on counter variable i will be initialized with 0 to count the number of bulbs is on after that i will be taking nested for loop one for loop will start from i equals to 1 up to n okay after that within the for loop what i will be doing i will be start from j equals to i it will travels up to the n bulbs what i will be doing increment i will be doing j equals to i plus 1 because i need to toggle the bulb in the bulb of i for that reason i will be taking the set for loop next i will be taking one for loop to traverse all the bulbs okay in if the condition is true means in each iteration what i will be doing i will be checking the bulb is on or not if it is on means i will increment my count after completion of traversing all the bulbs final count i will be returning as answer Okay, this is the approach. Let's we can run the code. But in this logic, what is happening? The time complexity is taking b of n square because we are using a nested for loop. It is taking n square, and we are taking another for loop. It will be taking b of n. Overall, we can tell it is taking b of n square. So it is not optimal solution. Okay, let's we can reduce the time complexity. that logic i will be show now i will be taking two variables one is sum and other is count starting both are will be initialized with zero after that i will be taking one for loop to traverse all the bulbs in that for loop what i will be doing i will be increment my i by two steps in each iteration what i will be doing i will be adding my sum and i value i will be stored in the sum variable i will be checking on if condition if sum should be greater than n if it is greater than means i will be break i will come out of the if condition if this condition is false means what i will be do i will be increment my count by count plus plus After traversing all the bulb, I will be returning my answer as count. Okay, this is the logic. Next, we can try run. Here, n equals to three. Okay, sum will be initialized to zero and counter value will be initialized to zero. 
now my i equals to 1 the condition say 1 is less than or equals to 3 that is condition is true so my sum will become sum plus i sum is 0 and i is 1 my sum will become 1 now I'll check the condition here n is what 3 right 3 is less than 1 this condition is false so i will not execute this if loop i will increment my count my count will be incremented to 1 now my i value is 3 okay now sum will become here sum starting is here 1 okay i is 3 1 plus 3 is 4 now check the condition if here n is 3 3 is less than 4 yeah this condition is true if it is a condition is true means i will break my count is 1 okay that i will be returning count as 1 as my answer this is the logic next we can run the code yeah this is accepted solution Next, we can understand the time complexity and space complexity of this logic. The time complexity is taking big of n. We are iterating all the bulbs, so it is taking the time of big of n. When it comes to the space complexity, it is taking big of 1 because we are not taking any extra space, it takes only constant amount of space. So it takes big of 1. There is another approach with time complexity of big of 1 that I will show now. Just only one line code, I will be returning square root function. I will pass the parameter in one line code. Okay, it is. If we run the code, means it is accepted. Let's submit the code. This is accepted solution. This is better optimal solution because the time complexity is also taking big of one and space complexity is also taking big of one. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like this video, please give the like.